Hey everyone, I'm Michael Hazard, a product manager on the Android Developer Tools team. Today I'd like to show you how Android Studio is making it easier than ever before to test your app's compatibility across a wide variety of API levels and form factors. Android's ecosystem diversity allows developers to reach a ton of users, but it also presents a challenge. Developers need to make sure that their app looks its best regardless of the device running it. This could mean making sure that an app looks good on phones, tablets, and large screen devices. It could also mean making sure that an app runs perfectly across Android's different API levels. Testing across a wide variety of API levels and form factors is the best way to ensure that all users have a great experience. Usually, this is done manually by QA or during automated pre- and post-submit integration testing. Testing during development allows you to catch bugs before QA, and more importantly, before they impact your users. Starting in Android Studio 4.2, Instrumentation tests can now be run across multiple physical or virtual devices in parallel. The outcomes can then be investigated using a new instrumentation test results panel. This flow is designed to help you identify failures caused by differences in API level or form factor as early as possible. To get started, we need to select a set of devices to run our tests. A good device set is representative of your app's user base. So start by checking out your Play Console statistics dashboard to see the API levels and devices most frequently used to run your app. You can take this even further and look at which API levels or devices result in the most crashes. If you're testing the impact of API level, then it's a good idea to choose devices running your app's min SDK version and target SDK version. It's also good to include your compile SDK version and the most recent version of Android. When testing the impact of form factor, select devices with a variety of display resolutions, densities, and features. For the sake of this example, I'm going to go ahead and test my app to make sure that it's compatible with the latest release of Android, which as of recording is Android 11. I've already set up devices that run on API level 23, my min SDK version, and API level 28, my target SDK version. So now I'm going to go ahead and create a virtual device that runs Android 11. My existing devices are Pixel 3s, so I'm going to go ahead and make my new device a Pixel 3. This ensures that any new failures are due to the difference in API level, not differences in form factor. Now that all my devices are ready, I'm going to go ahead and select Modify Device Set. This opens a dialog which allows me to select the devices I'd like to run my tests on. As I mentioned before, I'm going to select my API level 23, 28, and 30 devices. Clicking OK in this dialog creates a persistent device set. This device set can be targeted like any other device by selecting multiple devices. After I've made this selection, I can run my tests as I usually would. Upon hitting Run, Android Studio will automatically boot any virtual devices in my device set install my APK, and execute my tests. Test results are then displayed in the Run panel and stream in as execution completes. As you can see here, this new test results panel provides one row for each of my tests and one column for each of my devices, which allows easy side-by-side -side comparison of results. Using this, I can quickly identify tests that failed based on API level or form factor. If you've got a lot of tests, you can also use this to sort and filter results to make it easier to find what you're looking for. Here it looks like my test is failing on API level 30, also known as Android 11, but passing on API level 28. To get to the bottom of why this test failed, I'm going to click on the corresponding row to see logs broken out by device. I can also use my new device set to run my app and visually check for any errors. This is especially useful when testing different form factors. By using Android Studio, you can make testing compatibility across devices part of your regular workflow. We'd recommend doing this as often as possible, as it will allow you to catch and fix bugs prior to integration, which will save you time and ultimately make it easier to produce a high quality app. Thanks for watching and happy testing.